Okay, we still got a double battle to do. So, uh, sure, we'll do the double battle as well. Well, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode, I suppose. Because I just want to get the easy one done. I just want it out of the way. Hi, I'm your opponent. I hope we have a great battle. Okay, Marco. Are you sure you call Mark on? We seem to have a very similar uh, team to another guy I just went up against. First round of the last tournament. Mm. Strange. Well, we got a surf and a flamethrower on the Ninkader. With a flamethrower, I burn the year. Next one comes out, and they take a surf to the face. Because it's funny. And I know they resist it, but it is what it is. Boom. Boom. Oh no, not the leech seed. I'm just trying to make it a bit more of a challenge than it, it, than it actually isn't, you know? So, uh, yeah. I guess we'll uh, Ice Beam you, Flame for you. Burn them away. I did eat the ice beam from the most max. Quite well, I might add. Mega Drain? Ow! How rude! Well. If only I had some way to deal more damage. Oh, I need to stop playing for all. Yeah. Ice beam for the Oddish. Ooh. I'm a lot of mouse. You can let me down a little bit, buddy. A little bit. A little bit you are letting me down. Um. Again, you're not the most offensive Pokemon, but I, I do like Lantern. I like the water electric typing and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, so I do enjoy using them. Darn it! I lost so much for acting politely. What a waste! Wasn't a waste. It's good to have good manners, my friend. Always oh, good to have good manners. I was raised to have good manners. And Austin, I've been rewarded for my good manners throughout life, you know? Um, so. Ooh. What should we send out here? We'll send out Grim here. Um. Send out Iron a Giant. Yeah. What's she now? So that fat bastard. Iron Giant will come in with Lumos. Yeah. So the main issue is I do have a bunch of mons that do have Earthquake. 
Which is bad because I don't really have any mons that can not get hit by Earthquake. Huh? I don't look very strong. You'll know when we battle. Okay, Perez. Finally, another normal name. Um. But yeah, because I don't have mons with like Levitate or Flying type or whatnot, a lot of my mons can hit themselves with Earthquake, which is quite a problem, to be sure. Um, but it comes to the territory. Uh, the flake, and I get a crit. Almost taking down Grim, which means Grim is going to go down because eventually Imon is going to have speed and hit him. So, that do be rough. That do be rough. Hmm. I'm honestly very surprised about how fast Slacking is, considering it's supposed to be like a sloth Pokemon, you know? But I suppose because of, because of it being truant, they were like, well, as soon as it misses a turn, we'll make it fast so it can at least be useful. So I understand it, of course, you know? Um... Grim down. Poor Grim. See, I was hoping to get me another Shedinja, but that just didn't really pan out, so. Yeah. Okay, Earthquake, Earthquake. Because the only Shedinja I can get is over level 50. Which basically means I can't use it here, so. I was hoping to get a Grim Shady 2.0. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't really go according to plan, I'm not gonna lie. I lost? That's boring. Oh, I'm sorry, Perez. I mean, you tried. You, you got one of my mons, you know? Oh, look at this cute little team. I feel bad. Don't make me feel bad when I destroy your team, Denzlon. You're gonna make me feel bad now. feel terrible. That's not okay, bro. <sighs> Victory is supposed to feel good. Are you prepared for battle? Yes, Denzlon. That's a flipping weird name. Especially... Oof. Very weird name, Denzlon. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Well. I guess, uh, earthquakes are in order. It's <sighs> one more. Grim takes a hit. Togepi's down. Oh, Togepi live! I'm pretty sure these are all EV trained as well. Crit. It's just a part of me that believes that these guys are all EV trained as well because um, Togepi living. A earthquake from a slacking with max attack. Yikes. Well, I'm 
Just for giggles, we'll curse it. <laughs> Aww. He didn't even tap me, so I had to go for the tail whip instead. Aww. Poor little guy. Yeah. So, you notice that I do have curse. And that was a actual choice. See, I did have Will-O-Wisp. But I decided I would go for... Curse. I have to take this loss. Because if I come across a big threat mom, like I did with the level 100s, I could put a timer on it. Which isn't everything, but it's something. You know, if I could put a timer on a mom that's a big threat to my team, then that's a big benefit to me. The mag. If you're flying and water types. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. I train these Pokemon to never lose. Have you, Lamag? But if you say you've trained them, I actually believe you that you've trained them. I really do. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Boom. That's a light ball, Pikachu. By the way, if anybody was wondering, it does have the light ball. I did transfer it over to this one. Um, so... Pikachu's gonna pretty much rock house right here. Honestly, the sheer lack of electric types in this game, though, it is a thing. Um, so, I'm limited between Manaton, Pikachu, and... Um, I'm going to Pikachu, Magneton, Electric, Minetric, Ampharos, and Raikou. Um, of course there's Bustle, but nobody wants to use shitty Bustle. Let's be honest. We really don't. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Manaton's great, don't get me wrong. I could use a Manaton. But having a surfing Pikachu is just so much cooler. What? No, this can't be. Because, how often do you see surfing Pikachu? Y you don't really, do you? Nobody really rocks a surfing Pikachu, so. I thought, well, why not? It's a fun time. And if anybody is wondering about the legitimacy of a Surfing Pikachu, yes, it is possible to get a Surfing Pikachu in Pokemon Coliseum. Because through the old Game Boy games of Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow, and you do Pokemon Stadium, you can basically get Surfing Pikachu. You then transfer that over to um, Gold and Silver, and you can transfer your monster from Gold and Silver to Ruby and Sapphire. Um, so it was actually something that was possible to do. AKA, you could essentially gay server be cheap in Pokemon Coliseum. So, no, technically, it's not actually cheap. 
I mean, yes, I know Claire didn't go and do the process, but you get what I mean. The, the point stands. It is legitimately obtainable in this game, so I consider it okay. For sure. So they could use any Pokemon in this game, technically. There's no losing for the combination of Pokemon and die. Okay, Boosan. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to make you eat those words. Luciana and this Wisma you got right here. They're a bit of a problem, really. Right, we are very much threatened right now. Boom. Earthquake. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a big hit from the earthquake. Yep. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. Skitty. And Shroomish. A pain split. I'll take some HP from one of yours, because I can. And then again, the earthquakes. I'm gonna come rolling in. It's gonna hurt, it's a good chunk. The stun spore. Ooh, the paralysis. Not good because that hits them both, right? No, just uh, just one, okay. Yeah, sucking ain't gonna take too much from it. I mean, let's be honest, if you couldn't get Surfing Pikachu in the game, why would they give Pikachu the surfboard animation for Surf? As well. Just for like, a little bit of extra legitimacy, you know? For anybody who starts out at me in the comments going, Hey, you can Surfing Pikachu, you can't get Surfing Pikachu. Yes, you can. And I believe in Diamond and Pearl, you can also get a Surfing Pikachu. And that is through, um, whatchamacallit, that is through, ah, uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution, whatever it's called. Which is, honestly, a terrible game. It really is a terrible game. Um... Unless you literally have the ability to essentially use your Game Boy Advance game on that game. Uh, wait, it's DS and it Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, it's DS. Um, unless you literally have the ability to use your mons in it, you're not really going far. Because you only get pre-selected teams that you have to use. And trust me, I played the hell out of it on the Wii and spent a lot of time trying to essentially make it happen. And, um, yeah, all the teams are really bad. It was like a massive downgrade because obviously I played Pokemon Stadium, you know? Um, as a kid, and um, Pokemon Stadium was great because you had 150 rentals to choose from. You had all 151 Pokemon. 
that you could essentially rent from and use in the battle. But um, they basically made it so that you had pre-registered cards with teams on them in Pokemon Battle Revolution. Um, essentially making it so that it was a terrible time. Because you would be absolutely stuck and limited in <coughs> actual battle functionality. You have preset moves and all that good jazz. You couldn't even level them up or change any of the moves. You were just stuck with what you got. And you just had to make it work essentially was the bottom line of it. But, alas, it is what it is. So, if any of you are wondering, would I ever do a Pokemon Battle Revolution playthrough on this channel? Probably not. Unless I can find a way to essentially use it. It's your win. Unless I can somehow find a way to import Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, I mean, hell, you could even transfer up to 4th gen. Because uh, I essentially had like Mewtwo, Groudon, uh, Giratina, or all that good stuff. That I transferred over between all the games, you know, back before Pokemon basically put up a wall and set well Nintendo basically put up a wall and was just like oh well now nah, you can't do this anymore because they got rid of the uh, Game Boy Advance port on the DS's and stuff like that um, which is fun so we learned our lesson last time didn't we that the chop can be quite a threat Yes, we did. So, this time I'm going to go with Grim. And Iron Giant to start off with. And then we go Bat Bastard and Handoom. For this one. Um, but yeah. Muscles, fight! Okay, Yagon. Ooh, Geodude. And Teddy Ursa. Oh no. Say hello to Grim and Iron Giant. And uh, I think we'll start off with a nice Shadow Ball on you. Go for a meteor mash on you. So it's like a plan. Big damage. Unfortunately, I could not train efficiently for Metagross. Due to the fact that it came at level 50, so. Yeah. Honestly, you like Earthquake in here? With both of them, honestly. Oh, yeah, Meteor Mash. Um, we are Choice Banded on Iron Giant. Just to try and counteract the fact that we are limited. Hey, we got the attack boost. Now, the Machop does no Earthquake, which is going to hurt a lot if they go for it. I don't do that much. Earthquake. Boom. 
bolt. That really hit side giant, but this way it is. Um, medium mash. Actually, you know what? Grim, go for a curse on the chop. Go for a medium mash on the Bamfy. Seems they are focusing on nine giant right now. Most likely. Ouch. <laughs> yes. Get afflicted by the curse. And then take a shadow ball to the face. Very expanded. Hit. Let's go. The chop's down. Sorry, little dude. But you just don't got what it takes. Muscles in your feet. Damn. So you care about his muscles? Oh, we're only on battle six. I thought we were on battle. Hey, already. Oh, semi final. Final man. Ghosts and psychic team. Okay. Right. Fair, fair. Let me warn you, I'm good. I suppose you still want to battle? Mm hmm. Chop it and hound hour. Grim and Scooby Doom. If only you sent out Duskull, that would have been a fun time. Um. Shadow Ball on Ship It. We'll go for a Crunch on Ship It. That means something else is going to come in and take a Shadow Ball to the face, preferably a Psychic type. Oh, that's a normal type, unfortunately. Wow. Crit did that much, huh? Okay. Uh, let's eliminate the hoo hoo. Actually, it might live. I should have actually just gone for the uh, hand hour. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that feels bad, man. Another crit? Wow, one shot me. Damn, okay. I see ya. <laughs> you identified a fat bastard. Well done. You had to look really hard to, to find where he were. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of hard to miss, you know? He's kind of hard. There's a lot of him. Go for the crunch, Scooby Doo. Gobble, gobble. Nom, nom, nom. Eat that bird up. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Not bad, not bad indeed. I really, I really, really, uh... Well, I wasn't sure what to call my slacking, but I was watching Austin Powers while I was grinding. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> you call him that bastard, you know? Bruh. I'm, I'm honestly a little bit salty looking at their team right now, because I would have liked to treat Kill Torture Club Monkey in this game that I could use, you know? I mean, I could get their evolved form, sure, but it would have been nice if I could have caught a tree kill torture a mug kip, you know? Um, anyway. Um. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. I'm up, bum, bum, bum. I'll ask that you be civil. Okay, Tangut. Tangut. Go on the monkey. Okay. Say hello to my little friend. I'm a little friend. Well. We'll go for a body slam on the Trico. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Mudkip is still only water type in its rookie form on the first stage. How dare you have a beat you with more HP than me? I personally trained this Pikachu. Trained it. Somebody just said much better IVs than I do. Um, okay. Body slam. We will thunder wave the why not. First of all. Because somebody's clearly okay. They definitely have a light bulb. The fact that they just one shot me, it not being very effective, speaks wonders. They've got to be light bulb. I mean, I've already paralyzed you at this point, bro. I don't think that's really gonna help you. We'll put a curse on the why not. Pikachu is down. Yeah, I knew you were trying to counter me. I knew what you were doing. Let's see, with a curse, can you live two Shadow Balls? Or well, one Shadow Ball, it's grim. Ah, oh, yeah, you're out. You gone. Okay. You know, I'll probably split these into two episodes. Oh, boo. Losing is so hurtful. Because we are at an hour, so yeah, I feel like 30 minutes each episode would be fine. Between them both. Well, it might be 20, 40, who knows. Okay, but we are done with the Fenac Stadium. Next is the Pyrite Coliseum, but we are going to call the episode here. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. Have you seen me and my team? Lots of monsters here rocking with me. A digital, yeah, that's for sure. But I'm coming in with a dragon's roar. Across the skies, yeah, I'll soar. Kinoki falls back and coming for more. 
Don't see his hands on my dream on calls Blowing you back with a terror force 